Hello everyone, Prince Kuda here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play A Hat in Time. Last time, well, we had a bit of a run-in with the ship. More or less, we explored a, sh a cruise ship fully. We were enjoying our cruise. Now, showing you the title screen here, unfortunately, is leaving a little bit of a spoiler in the air. But I wanted to do this because there's a subtle touch here that happens when you are on the title screen and you go over a file that is actually 100% complete, at least at this time of the game. Now this either is because of one of two things. Either A, I have set the, t the title screen's theme song to be this on this particular file, or B, since you have completed it, it plays a different version of the title screen song as an indication of 100% completion. I could be wrong on this. Anyway, let's go back to Lively Town. Let's go get ourselves back on a cruise ship. I wasn't even really out of breath at the end of that, I hate to say it. <laughs> anyway. Now, at this point, I hope, at this point in your journey of the game, I hope you have r roughly understood the layout of this cruise ship and know what you should be expecting. Because you're going to be using that knowledge a lot. So everything that I mentioned in pr in the previous mission about carrying multiple items and how it affects you, the player, you have to know have that knowledge under your hat. I make joke, but you must have that knowledge available to you because at this point uh, you do need to know. Well, you do need to know exactly what your you do need to know the ship a little better than normal. Also, I feel like I'm... Something is open and I'm losing things. Hold on, I'll be one second. Sorry about that. Anyway, at this point... Check in with your... Check in on your baggage claim. Hi, miss. How can I help you? Oh? There's something you want in the wasp and found? Hmm. The captain lets us pick something from it if we work very, very hard. Maybe you could help. But you'd have to ask him nicely. Just follow the mess to his room. Remember how I said if you follow uh, junk food and Chinese takeout, you'll find the, you'll find our walrus captain? Statement is true. So I do recommend for this mission... If you if you don't even if you don't enjoy it, I do highly recommend that you put on your running cap, whatever cap you have of that, because it's going to make things immensely easier. Hello, sir. What's that, pup? You want to help out? Huh. Uh, sure. Maybe something will get done around this mess of a boat for once. It'd be a first. All right. You'll need to deliver drinks, some food, and a few other things. And do it quickly, pup. Oh, and there are some other jobs that'll need doing, so pay attention. Are you ready to start? Good. You can start by getting rid of some of these boxes for me. It's starting to get messy in here. It begins. So that meter in the lower right corner, which I can't see with my current recording setup. That particular thing is the, how pleased the captain is with you. The more tasks you do, the easier it'll be to get... Uh, the, the more tasks you do, the more he'll stay calm. And you do have to do just about everything on the boat. And you do have to do just about everything you can think of on the boat. And back up to the kitchen even. Now... I don't know what the exact numbers and math are, but what I can tell you is that if you do happen to fail a task, if you do happen to fail a task while going throughout this, uh, here we have this. Also, there's a hair in my mouth that's distracting me. 
I'll have to take that hit so I can focus. Um, if you do fail a task, that barn lowerite will fill significantly. Completing tasks don't drain it as fast. Really? Once we go back? Can I have these quick? Thanks. And again, remember how I said you need to have, like, knowledge of your movement options? Ow. Well, if you go too fast while carrying too many things, you do start to bonk on stuff. Unfortunately, the tracking for some of the stuff here is going to be a little off because it doesn't know how to perceive your movement and how you're supposed to proceed forward. So it's going to be a little weird to say the least. Uh, how do I get to you? I already forget. Oh yeah, get over here. Oh. Oh, I have to go back up for something. Damn it. <laughs> so this could be just a lot of panicking. Now if you do goof a mission in this segment, don't worry about it too much. Oh, I have to go across the way again. Here, have this. Where are we going? Okay, we're going this way. And I do, for the most part, I do recommend you only take, um, you take like two items at most while you're doing this. And don't spread yourself too thin while you're doing stuff, either. Okay, where am I going with the bo with the mafia man? See, even though I've played through this, this stuff is still new. A little bit more. Now the arrow is is pointing to like the best, the closest path to getting you at something. Oh, dirty dishes. Crap. It is a little hard to... to function. But hey, at least Mr. Seal Friend is happy. Or Walrus, I guess, is more accurate. Now, on each of the icons that are showing up, yes, that is the timer you have in order to get to the next objective before he'll get mad and it gets overridden. And whatnot. Why do I feel like I'm getting tossed around? But remember how I said you're going to want to keep this uh, running hat on? I wasn't lying. Where are you taking me? Thank you. Thank you for your patronage on this boat. Gosh, I am really struggling to like, keep commentary while I'm doing menial jobs, aren't I? You need to go to the play center. Now, the game is mostly intelligent about its uh, plotting. Get in there. Did that, that one didn't have the knife. Sometimes they have a knife. Don't ask. I don't make the rules. The game just The game does for me. And try as you might, there will probably be a couple times where you're going to goof and mess up something. But as you see, like right now, he's not in the happiest of moods. He's not upset with us yet, but he's not ha in the happiest of moods. What's going... Okay, where am I going? 
And, oh boy. And if you happen to goof a task, don't worry about it too much. If you goof a task, you just have to... Eh, climb it, please. Thank you. If you goof a task, or if you goof up, or if you have to redo a task for any reason... Uh... Why did you have me go on top of this when that's... Okay. Um, if you goof up a task and you have to, like, redo a mission, or if you get too angry and you time out, or anything like that... Actually, that is your timers. If you get so mad because you're taking so long with tasks that, uh, you have to restart, then, yeah. Here, have your stuff. Also, the key change here doesn't help me. Like, there's only five tasks we have left to do, right? At, at this point. Give me. But as long as you're doing your best to follow the arrows, you'll be you should be fine. Not too much worry. Yeah, fell in the crap. I'll wash off eventually. I think. Uh Oh, down here. Like this is I think this is one that's going to happen where it's going to break and it's going to mess with, make his head yeah it makes him upset -y. can you open this please thank you oh I feel like I'm going in loops now maybe I'm not going in loops and I'm just instead going crazy that's always an option <laughs> sir I'm doing my best But like the matter he gets, the more he'll uh the more the musical speed up too. Take it! Take it! I think that mission is always supposed to trigger no matter what. What are you doing out here? But as you can see, he's not as mad right now because we've done decently. Come here, give me this. We're gonna go to the kitchen and to the playpen. I feel like if there ever is trash in his area, that's when he'll be the maddest. But that's just my personal theory. Good chance I'm wrong. Oh, this is the last task I have to do. I guess they stop how I know in the in the in the launch version of this, you could keep picking up tasks regardless of how far you are in the mission. Attention, this is your captain speaking. Stop now, Pope. Come back to control, I guess. So whether you succeed or fail, that message play that this message will play out. This all will play out the same. Well, looks like you actually cleaned up more mess than you made, Pope. That's more than most of the crew can manage. Help yourself to something from the lost and found. Nobody ever comes back for that stuff anyway. But I'm back for that stuff. Anyway, let me go get my timepiece. So yeah, that mission, if you're able to follow simple directions, not that hard. If you know the map better than, than you should, message, uh, me message? Mes me mission is even easier. Yes, the message is even easier. So saith my brain. But yeah, it's a quick mission. And I got pretty lucky during that mission. A lot of times you end that mission with like three to four things at a time and you're kind of... You're trying to pull left while the camera's pulling right kind of scenario. Anyway. Well, I'll do it for today. Everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play A Hat in Time. And come back next time when we will go back to the ship and uh, have a little fun. As I balance my Monado because apparently I'm a Monado boy. Monado girl. Close enough. I'll see you folks next time. Take care.